I'm Grio B, and this is World History Wednesday. Today, I'll be teaching you about the scientific revolution. Pay attention, take notes. <laughs> the Renaissance thinkers were influenced by the Greek philosophers like Aristotle and Ptolemy, who created rationalism, and this is the belief that common sense and logic will explain all that you see. Fast forward to 1543. A man doubt these teachings from the second century. Greeks said that the sun wasn't the center of the universe, it was Earth. This is known as the geocentric theory. This Prussian scientist named Copernicus said heliocentric planets went around it. It was an intriguing notion. So the German Johann Kepler observed the planetary motion. He saw the planet orbit sun in oval revolution. But get those Greek ideas, homie, this is a revolution. And here's the resolution. Aristotle was right. Aristotle got it wrong. It's the stage left in his Galileo, the Italian mathematician who improved a telescope. And with it, he saw Jupiter and Venus one late evening. He was peeking at the moon and saw the surface was uneven. This contradicted teachings Greeks were preaching. Aristotle was right. Psych! Aristotle got it wrong. Copernicus was right. Galileo got involved. He disproved Aristotle just by dropping two balls. Think about it. If I took a bowling ball and a tennis ball and I walked him up to a three-story building and I dropped the balls at the roof at the same time, raise your hand if you think the bowling ball will hit the ground first. Raise your hand if you think the tennis ball will hit the ground first. Okay. If your hand was raised, you got it right. Psych! <laughs> You got it wrong. Back to Galileo with 66 teenies beeping with they pole. The church said stop teaching heliocentric, but he didn't listen. 1633 brought in for the Inquisition, charged him with heresy. And this means apparently he contradicted what they taught. Church was really scared that the people who were hearing Galileo's observation would see church was wrong all along, and they couldn't take it. They forced him to lie and say he wrong in the statement. Yeah, the church was hating male cow defecation. The Pope was right. Sight. The Pope got it wrong. Okay, Isaac Newton was sitting down under a tree. What did he see? An apple fall to the ground rapidly. That's gravity. Earth's pool of objects. F equals MA. Force equals mass times 9.8 meters per second squared. Its effect is clear. What's the lesson here? Logic gives you ideas, but you got to test them, dear. Rational thought isn't always what it seems. If we listen to the Greeks, you wouldn't believe in gravity. Aristotle was right. Sight. Aristotle got it wrong. Okay, British Francis Bacon introduced that unique conclusive proven fact to prove your posture on the problem is the truth in that observations prudent to an act to be exact. Posture is hypothesis, you gotta prove it's true with facts. This is scientific method that you start using to do hard science projects off the chart. Thanks to Bacon and Descartes, who turn investigation to an art. <laughs> scientific revolution. School y'all rap. What's next? I'll tell you, kids. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. If you'd like to learn more about today's topic, please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. If you'd like to purchase the illustrated video or use it at your leisure, please go to schoolyardrap.com. Thank you very much. See you next episode.